I'm Sherry York, a printmaker from Bristol, Maine. When I was first learning to identify birds, someone told me that if I saw one chipping sparrow, I'd see ten. As it turns out, I do usually find them foraging together in busy flocks, one of which inspired my line of cut, Four on the Fence. A dozen sparrows caught my attention as they hopped about in a tangle of fresh spring grasses. The birds took turns popping up on a fence to preen, rest, and probably watch for trouble. After enjoying their antics for a few minutes, I took a couple of rather bad photographs to serve as reminders and went on with my day. Later, I took a look at those questionable photos and thought about the possibilities. The rhythmic qualities of the fence were intriguing, and the weathered grays of the posts seemed to echo the subtle colors of the sparrows. I imagined the birds' bright rust caps could add an interesting spark of color if placed against a background of spring greens, and I really liked the idea of a snow fence without snow, a sure sign that spring was gaining the upper hand. I sketched out some arrangements of birds and fence line, and when I was satisfied with the composition, I transferred my drawing to a piece of gray linoleum that would serve as my print block. Material I carve out of the linoleum block will not print, so I begin by carving away any areas that I wish to appear white, or the color of the paper, in the final image. To create a multicolored line of cut, I most often use the reduction process, carving and printing all the colors of an image from the same block, one after the other, in succession. In the case of four on the fence, there were just a few highlights on the birds' heads that would remain white. These were carved away, the entire block was inked with a pale gray, and printed onto 24 separate sheets of paper. After the pale gray was printed, I cleaned off the block and then carved away any areas where I wanted that just printed gray color to show in the finished print. When the second stage of carving was complete, I inked the block with the second color and printed that over the top of the first, again, 24 times. I repeat these steps to create the entire image. Clean off the block, carve some more, mix the next ink color, roll the color onto the block, and press the new color onto each print. Most of my images involve 12 to 15 color passes. Because I am reducing the printable surface at each stage, I am essentially destroying the block as I go along. A reduction print addition is limited to however many prints I manage not to destroy before I'm finished, because there's no such thing as a do-over once I've moved on to the next stage of carving. It's a labor-intensive and time-consuming way to create an image, but one that seems to suit me. And when I'm finished, I have not one, but a flock of 10 or 15 or 20 line of cuts, kind of like chipping sparrows.